Hi friends, in this video, we are going to write a Python Boto3 script to list out all snapshots. Right? Let me start the script. So guys, before going to write your script, you know, first thing, anyway, you have to import your Boto3, then you have to create your session object. From that, you have to create your required service object first. And while creating that object, right, we are creating either client object or resource object. Right? Okay, fine. Now, see here, first thing, you want to work with the snapshots. So, in your AWS console, where you can find out the, about these snapshots, right? If you go to your services and EC2, right? Under EC2, you have your snapshots, right? Under Elastic Block Store here, you can able to see your snapshots. Right here, you are having your snapshots. Okay. Now, let me start writing code. Get all snapshots dot py. So bin python then import your boto3 now i want to create a session object first right because we are working with the credentials access keys right programmatic access keys so that's why you have to create session from that you have to create your object in case if your ec2 instance is assigned with a role directly you can create your required object right fine now see here session equals to from your boto3 session dot session then provide your profile name so i'm going to provide profile name as this one now from here i need to create my object for particular ec2 service object i need to create why because why only ec2 because under ec2 you have snapshots that's why i want to create suppose ec2 resource object i'm going to create you can create either resource or client because for your ec2 you have both the options Okay, first I will go through resource and after that I will go with your client and I will show you the output right fine so from session right resource object otherwise I will create both the objects so service name so I want to work with EC2 then region name suppose I want to work with under US East 1 That's it. Now let me create EC2 client object as well. Actually, as of now, it's not needed. But if you want to write code using your client object, then you can also create your client object in the same code. That's fine. Then, so guys, while working our uh, with our EC2 instances or IAM users, right? Let me open. If you remember, while working with this EC2 instances, if you want to get all your EC2 instances, what is your operation? Your resource object dot instances dot all, right? The same way here, if you want to get all your snapshot, right? First of all, you have to do ec2 because we are following resource method in this if you are going to work with ec2 instance then instances but now you are working with the snapshots so snapshots dot all right so you have number of snapshots in this so i want to take one by one so print each snap That's fine, right? See, let me save this and run the script. Give me the execution permission for this. Now I'm going to run this. See, you are going to get the snapshots, right? It will take time because you have a lot of snapshots, right? Just wait. 
yeah see so you're getting so many snapshots but if you really observe in your account how many snapshots are there with your account let me open my aws account yeah already we have here right i have only two snapshots but why it is giving this many number of snapshots if you observe here how many snapshots it is giving right let me count them let me give the count value as one and i want to count count equals to count plus one now i am going to run this script now see how many snapshots you are getting you have to wait because you are getting a lot of snapshots so it will take time so finally see the count how many snapshots you are having Twenty-two thousand five hundred ninety-six. Do we really have this many number of snapshots in our account? No, we have only two snapshots. But if you observe here, by default in your AWS account, right, there is a filter called owned by me. Only your snapshots it is going to display. But if you see here, public snapshots option also is there. Now your Boto three script is going to. get all the snapshots your send public snapshots right but what you want i want only my snapshots right now to get your snapshots let me write modify the script don't use all now you have to apply a filter here we applied already filters for your ec2 instances and here filter value based on what you want to filter so i want to get snapshots which are related with my aws account id or my aws account so for that let me open your boto3 document so i want to work with ec2 under ec2 i want to work with snapshots first let me go with ec2 and as of now you are going to write your code using resource object now let me enter into resource resource under resource right give me a second yeah under resource what we need we need instances sorry snapshots so here there is a option snapshots right just click on that and all it is going to give all the snapshots ids yours and public but i want to only my snapshot id my snapshots i need i mean the for my aws account related snapshots i want to display then already we know filters concept right just observe here somewhere you have owner ids so here you can provide number of owner ids but in our case we need only for our aws account we have to provide our owner id our aws account directly you can provide your owner id number but instead of that right so you have a small code already we developed previously to get aws account id see get aws account id in this section right under sts we have a small script get aws account id now already i have here i want to copy that so anyway already you have session then simply just take this one right let me open your sts client now aws account id equals to i am taking own aws account id equals to your sts client right yeah i have here right 
in this script I have clearly right already we implemented this uh, in our previous sessions this is going to give your AWS account ID that's it now in your hand you are able to get automatically your AWS account ID with this variable now let me provide that variable here that's it now if I go and run it you are going to get only two snapshot IDs or two snapshots information oh we are running this now our script is get all snapshot IDs STS client is not defined yeah let me because we copied from other script right maybe STS okay client now it's sufficient see now we are getting only two snapshot IDs because now you provided a filter while displaying while fetching the all snapshots and in that filter what you have given get snapshots related with this owner IDs as of now I am providing only our own account ID you can provide multiples also here so that you can list out all the snapshots which are related with your account or combination of your account and some others account but if you don't provide this filter value you are going to get almost 22,000 plus snapshots which are publicly available right so be, be careful while taking snapshots owner IDs filter is very important right fine now actually we implemented a code using resource object now same concept I mean same information I want to fetch using my client object as well yes you can get it let me show you that let me open your boto 3 script right let me enter into client object now ec2 client I am going to enter now under ec2 client object right what we need we need snapshots now we are going to get ec2 object yes you got ec2 object here using client now under this if you go and see somewhere describe snapshots is there describe right describe snapshots see it is going to describe your public and explicit implicit all but again here also while describing from your client object you can able to provide again owner IDs now see what I am doing is simply print your EC2 client object dot describe instance sorry describe snapshots and I am going to give a filter of owner IDs so already we have in our hand our owner ID right and this output right after running this you are going to get response in this way so I need only snapshots I don't want about your remaining data then snapshots then directly take a key called snapshots now see the output you are going to get some list in that list that consists of uh, information for your all snapshots which are related with your AWS account see now you are getting a list it consists of the up to this right where is up to this one value where is it up to volume size snapshot ID yeah date time Yeah, up to this one snapshot information and this is for second snapshot information but what I want is I want to get only snapshot ID now if you observe if you take first one by one from this so what I am doing is now I am going to use loop for this to get one by one so instead of directly printing for each snap in print each snap right first observe this output 
see now you are able to separate your data of each and every snapshot two snapshots you are getting two informations now in this where is your snapshot id right somewhere here you have your snapshot id snapshot id now let me get that i don't want to display entire data i want to print only your snapshot ids right that's it so in our code you modify now you are able to get directly your snapshot ids but actually uh, we also implemented using resource right i think in resource directly we are displaying the information right now let me enable both the codes So print below is using client. And here you have option like I think ID. Let me run this so that you can see the output. Right. See, you are getting IDs from here using resource method. And here also you are getting same IDs. That means same information here. Now you can able to fetch using your resource as well as client objects. Right. That's it. This is a simple code. So here just I have given count for our understanding purpose. Actually no need of that count. If you want you can give it no problem. print below is using resource object that's it so guys here the important point is yeah what happened we are using count here print but we deleted the count right let me delete here also Fine. The same snapshot IDs you are able to fetch using your resource object as well as client object. That's fine. So, guys, here important point is while using, while performing your operations, while getting your snapshots, don't forget about this option owner IDs. Because if you don't mention this, you are going to get public snapshots also. Right? Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video.